Now you probably think there's nothing better than a hype beast. Well, that's where you're wrong. Today, I'm gonna show you guys some Instagram hype beasts. Now, if you are familiar with them, you know they definitely do not have the most cringy content. But if you're not familiar with them, today I'm gonna show you a few. Okay, so let's start off with this guy named Badr Al Safar. Jafar, I don't really know. But in his bio, it says hype beast, influencer, LA, London, and Dubai. I wanna know what this guy is influencing, so let's go ahead and take a look at his feed. So he has the 350 sesames, and I guess he took that too literal. This guy pulls out the sneakers and there is just a ton of sesame seeds. I mean, obviously a genius had to think of this because this is like next level thinking right here. Let's start with this. I'm a creative genius. Not even that, but look in the background. He has like a hundred pair of Yeezys. No wonder no one can get their pair, but it gets even better. Watch this one. So he pretends to be salt bay with the easy salt, sprinkling it over the box. But this dude definitely does not have as much sauce as salt bay. Like, get this dude out of here. Salt bay looks like Wandi Smoke from Fairly Odd Parents, and this dude looks like Borat. Now, if you know the Easy 700s just came out, they have like a rock colorway. And of course, this guy is gonna do the most. I just don't understand. This guy must be so bored and so rich. But you know, I wanted to dig deeper. I didn't just want to see the flashy Yeezys, the flashy Supreme. I wanted to see what he was like before all the hype. So I went ahead and scrolled down and this is what I found. So it's no secret that this guy is rich. I mean, he's been posting nice cars since like 2012. So this one is from 2015. He's uh, taking a picture with some um, actor, I forget his name. But as you can see, no Supreme, no Yeezys. None of that. I mean, I'm sure the clothes he has on are very expensive, but it is nothing hype. And here's another one. I mean, just look at the jeans, look at the shoes, look at the, the flannel. I mean, I'm sure it's super expensive still, but he didn't have that streetwear hypey style until recently. And before he started dressing like this, his likes used to be around 500 to 900. Now he's getting almost 4K every post. So I guess that's why he's always rocking the Supreme, the Yeezys, give him that clout. And I mean, honestly, who doesn't want clout? So this is when your parents are rich and you can buy whatever you want. This is this guy. Now this is what I mean, like you can't really respect what he has because I don't want to say it's handed to him because I don't know his situation, but he didn't work that hard for everything he has. This guy was obviously born with money. Now there's also this trend where people get undressed and dressed, you know, just putting on different outfits. Just take a look at it. This is like a new level of weird. First of all, can we just acknowledge that fire ass smoke cloud he blew out within the first 10 seconds? My man definitely vapes and he also hit us with the... Now another thing, it's weird enough that he's already undressed, you know, taking his shirt off, taking his pants off. You basically see him in his underwear. But I mean, when you're showing the clothes, you might as well stay still. I could not see one single outfit. Like, I don't know what kind of pre-workout this dude was on, but he could not stay still for the life of him. You know, I give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was just this video. Let's go ahead and check out another one. Okay, I'm gonna just stop it right there. 
you see that look he gave us? I mean, I thought he was gonna hit that blue face at one point. Damn. Blue face, baby. You might as well just post the pictures of like your outfit. You don't have to get undressed and dressed. That just doesn't make sense to me. Majority of guys watching you, so. And we have this guy named Eric Whiteback. This guy is another level of cringe. First of all, I hope Planet Fitness bans you. It's bad enough as Planet Fitness. I highly, highly doubt he actually forgot his locker code. This is what Instagram and Cloud does to people. It makes them do stupid things. This guy really had the bright idea to take this Supreme lock, take the clippers, and do something with it for Instagram. He cracks the lock and he opens it up to about 7K worth of Supreme t-shirts. I just really don't understand what's so amusing about this. All he's doing is cutting a lock and showing Supreme tees like, this is the point we've got to with hype beasts and streetwear. Like, like this has to be one of the worst things that's happened to streetwear since. <laughs> really, I'm just sick of the douchey streetwear rich kids that just can buy whatever they want and destroy it. It's it's pathetic. But if you're not sick of this guy already, here's another picture of him. One, he looks like a whole fruit ball with that colorful outfit on, and he's hanging the $400. Um, Cupid that dropped almost two weeks ago. He's hanging it over a ledge as if he's Michael Jackson or something. And we all know he's doing it wrong. He has to cover his face because he's a hype beast. I mean, every hype beast does that. Then we have this guy. Um, let's take a look at it. This guy's throwing Cupid in the air for clout. That could never be me. Sid from Toy Story is really wilding out these days. Like, just imagine the conversation between these two guys before making this video. Yo, bro, you wanna toss the statue around? After that, we'll go uh, shock up some natty lights. Yeah, dude, let's do it. We should also play some Post Malone while filming it. And of course, this guy does it on the grass because if he drops it, it you know, it's a slight chance it won't break. Guarantee he won't do this on concrete. Then you just have like the destroying of streetwear, which I really don't get. Like, just check out this video of some guy cutting his off-whites. So we can't land a kickflip with a perfectly fine pair of skating shoes. No, 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 no. He has to cut the heel out so he can land the trick. And it's not like I care that he destroyed some off-white Nikes. I can give two shits about that. I just think it's whack how he thinks it's like a weird flex. Then we have this magnificent video of someone lighting their Jordans on fire. Now again, I really don't understand this. I'm gonna assume it's fake again because that's like almost, that's like a couple grand in shoes. So not only did he destroy his off whites, he cooked some burgers on it. That's the next level of savagery right there. And I guarantee the shoes are fake again, but it's none of my business. People are gonna believe it and they're gonna follow him and give him likes, which is exactly what he wants. So it works out for him. Then we just have, you know, some honorable mention pictures here. Like this dude begging on the street corner for money. Not to eat, not to live, not for Yeezys, but for Supreme. I mean, it looks like this guy has like a Rolex on, so I don't understand why he has to be on the street corner asking for money. Again, really weird, really cringy, really just don't understand it, but people like it for some reason. I mean, just look at the comments. So lit, fire, nice, fire emoji, dope shot, crying emoji, tagging a friend, nice photo, check out, out to la 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 check out our account and to fire. And then of course, you know, just wouldn't be right without a couple picture or video, should I say. That was beautiful. 
but it was also fake as them sneakers are fake the blue was just so wrong and i'm just disgusted you know what i'm just gonna end the video there hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys realized that the hype beast instagram is just super cringe if you like streetwear you like sneakers you like all that type of stuff subscribe to the channel don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one